I've recently been playing with the Nikon Z50 and so in this video what I want to do is it's not going to be like a full-on review or anything I just want to tell you five things that I really like about it and the one thing that kind of lets it down a little bit if you're a vlogger. The first thing that I will say about this camera is that it is super lightweight. It's if you were going to be vlogging with this all day, you're not going to get a dead arm. It's really, really lightweight. And I've got the 16 to 50 millimeter lens that came with the package. So it came with the 16 to 50 millimeter and the 50 to 250. And I've just got the Rode video mic go to on top for the audio. So yeah, I don't feel it's not heavy at all. So that's really awesome if you're going to be vlogging with it. So the second thing is the image quality. I was really impressed the first time I used the camera at how good the quality of the image looks. So it's a 4K mirrorless camera. I'm currently shooting 4K 30 and I'm literally shooting in auto because I don't have an ND filter big enough or small enough for this lens. So yeah, all auto settings at the moment. I'm really hoping that you can hear me because it's really windy and I didn't put my furry windshield on my road video mic go to, so kind of forgot it but anyway yeah the video quality is awesome and uh, yeah so that leads me on to the next thing which is autofocus and the autofocus is really good I've got it on uh, tracking at the moment it's tracking my face and if I just kind of move does a really good job so um yeah really impressed with that make sure i'm not sitting on any bird poo and uh the next thing what was the next thing the lcd screen so the lcd screen is really high quality as well it's really crisp and sharp and it just it kind of shows you what the footage is going to look like when you're going to see it on the pc which i really like about it so um it's also bright enough to see in really bright conditions as well i was out filming when it was a really sunny day and it didn't have any problems seeing the the screen at all and um so yeah really impressed with that <laughs> I've just unplugged my Rode video mic go to so this is now the audio that you're hearing straight from the camera and when I tested this indoors the audio actually didn't sound too bad coming straight from the camera I never recommend just using the microphones that come from a camera and I would also I would always recommend getting an external microphone because your audio is going to sound a hundred percent better but this is what the audio sounds like coming from this camera. So, like I said, it's not horrendous. It's actually pretty decent. If you didn't have an external mic or you forgot your mic, then you're, yeah, the audio is gonna be fine. So this is what the audio sounds like straight from the camera. So I mentioned that there was one thing that kind of lets it down and I feel because this is more so aimed at vloggers i feel like this is a vlogging camera and because of that the one thing that kind of lets it down is the screen in terms of how it flips this screen flips down at the bottom and so normally that would be fine if you use the um they have the creator combo and you get a base plate i think or half a cage or something and then you can kind of mount your tripod off to the side uh, so then you'll be able to see yourself in the screen at the bottom but if you want to use a gimbal which is something that I like to do even though the stabilization is pretty decent you and if you want to get better stabilization then you would use a gimbal and then you won't be able to use the LCD screen you won't be able to see yourself because it would get in the way so I feel like that kind of lets it down I would have liked to have seen the screen flip out to the side instead or even go up to the top that would have been a lot better but just having it down, come down the bottom, just disappointing. So 
So they are my points, however many there were. I did actually write this down. I'm not just winging it. I did write down five points. And then as I was walking around, I thought, thought of more things. So however many points that I mentioned. And I was actually going to do a comparison between this and the Sony ZV-1 because I've been using the ZV-1 a bit recently whilst I've been going out instead of taking like my A7S 3 and also in, chain, in place of my Pocket 2 because I've just been wanting to see how well the ZV-1 does in certain different conditions. But anyway, I wanted to do a comparison to, between this and the Sony ZV-1. So I might do that at a later date because I've just got this on loan and I need to send it back. So, and I've run out of time. But yeah, this is the Nikon Z50 and I would definitely say that this is um, a camera that I would use for vlogging. I would actually take it out and use it for vlogging. I have been doing recently, so. There's a link in the description to it. They, it comes in several different packages. You can get a creator combo and you can get another combo which has other bits and pieces in it. Um, but like I said, I'll put a link in the description. You can find out some more about it. And so, yeah, I hope you found this video useful if it's something that you were considering or if it's something that you didn't even know about and now it is a consideration. Um, but subscribe for more videos and catch you next time. Mm -hmm.